Now, sometimes when you meet a star, and I use the word advisedly, on your program, whether it's radio, television, or whether you just meet them socially, uh, you have to do a bit of explaining. But if I say that on the telephone now is Alad Jones, I think that speaks for itself. Good morning, Alad. Hey, Henry, probably everyone's going, who's he? Never heard of him. <laughs> I don't believe a word of it. How are you? I'm very well indeed. How are you? I, it's been a while, hasn't it? Last time I saw you, we were having dinner together. We were indeed. <laughs> and um, I, the first time you saw me, you were 12. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> you just come, you just come up to um, uh, breakfast television with your mum and dad after you had won... The first of, of course, a whole string of awards. And now, of course, you're making a name for yourself on um, a programme which was made famous, of course, by um, Harry Seacombe. Yeah, all I is, heard the Of course, Songs of Praise. And uh, Good Morning Sunday you do on BBC Radio 2. So you're having a good time. I'm, I'm having a great time. I keep having to pinch myself, to be honest with you. You know, what I love about um, everything that I get the opportunity to do is that there's so much variety in it. Sure. Um, one minute I'll be doing songs of praise, so in a cathedral, a great cathedral somewhere. The next minute I'm in an auction room with Cash in the Attic or in a house for Escape to the Country. And, and, and the radio, the radio too, is, is something I, I care about massively. You know, I, I love my Sunday show. And I also like sitting in for the daily presenters there as well. I've just done a week of early breakfast, which was a, a, a bit of a leveller, like getting up at three o'clock in the morning. But, uh, Where are you based? Yourself these days, Say again, sorry, Where are you living these days? I live in London. Um, I've lived in London since I was 18. Um, right. I have to, to be honest with you. Um, I go back to Wales quite a bit, um, okay. see mum and dad and stuff. But, you know, uh, it's a totally different world. But where I live in London is nice. It's quite a lot of greenery and uh, it's quite kind of villagey. So uh, best of both worlds, really. And what about the family? Yeah, the family are good. Um, my daughter's nine. Uh, she was nine this week, uh, Amelia. And uh, all she really wants to do is sing, dance, act, um, poor thing. And uh, Lucas is five, and he, he's not in, he can sing, but he's not interested. He thinks that singing is just for girls. <laughs> <laughs> You're rearing a proper girl and boy, there's no doubt yeah, about it. Uh, absolutely. And now we've got the dog, that's it. It yeah. seals the equation. There's <laughs> no more. That's enough to be going on with. Absolutely. Now, uh, one of the reasons I, I was hoping to talk to you, and I'm glad I can today, is that uh, you've r written a book called What Do You Believe? Question mark religion and faith in the world today and it's a Doring Kindersley book now normally when you see DK on a book if it's not a travel guide it's yep. probably more aimed at a younger audience but I've been looking through this and uh, you know okay obviously because of its layout and its pictures and its print it, it, it would I think in fairness be aimed at a younger generation without a doubt um, and that's, that's the whole idea yeah, but whole too. questions like what's the point of prayer uh huh and, uh, you know, what is a religion? I mean, these are questions that, uh, you know, adults that can ask themselves. Well, this is, this is really interesting because I've been going through the book with, um, with my daughter as well, who's nine, yeah. and she's got stuff out of it. And to be honest with you, so have I. Um, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't actually, to be honest with you, I haven't written the book. I've, I've been a sort of consultant on it. Yes, sure. but somebody else has actually gone and written the whole thing. Um, and I think it's brilliant. It's for adults and for children. Um, you know, I think every school should have one, to be honest with you, because, as you say, it, it explores many different faiths, for well, all of the faiths, really, and philosophies. But also, what I love about it, it carries just one message, okay, that understanding one another, by understanding one another, we can be have tolerance and respect for one another as well. So, you know, there's sections on atheism, there's sections yeah. on being agnostic, um, but also it has the Eastern faiths. It, it, as you say, it, 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 what I love is the section of what, what can I expect when I get in there. And so it shows you what a, a, you know, a Gurdwara is like in the Sikh faith or what a, a cathedral or a church is like in Christianity. Um, and, and, you know, why people wear certain outfits, why they eat certain things. It's actually, it's, it's almost like a one-stop, um, you know, it, 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 everything you need to know. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I got a great lesson in that from a friend of mine who's a pillar of the High Anglican Church of England. I mean, a yeah. layman, you know, but I knew him to be a seriously God-fearing. I mean, he would have called himself Catholic, though not Roman Catholic, because, as I say, he was High Church of England. Uh -huh. And uh, um, I met him in the week after the 9-11 um, uh, planes went into various buildings in the United States and I said what was your reaction to that and I was astonished but I learned a lesson from him he said I went out the next day and bought a copy of the Koran right because he said I wanted to he said there must be some explanation for this absolutely and, 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 and that's what he did are you yourself deeply religious, Alan. No, I, I don't know what you mean by deeply religious. Um, I don't go to church every week. Um, no. I find um, God in everything. I, I've, you know, I've been involved in Christianity since I was probably about six years old. 
or even before that, and without course, knowing it through my parents. From singing in choirs and singing in churches. And uh, so the amount so. of hours I've sat through sermons, Henry, I tell you, um, <laughs> uh, as a choir boy. And you know, do you know what, what, what actually happens? It, it seeps into you. It seeps into your soul. Um, when I'm singing, um, I honestly do feel closer to God. Um, I have some sort of connection. Uh, although I'm asking Him this morning why He's given me this chest infection when I've got a busy week ahead of me. But there we go. Um, but you know, I, I'm not an evangelical uh, Christian. No. Um, I'm quite a private one. Uh, my, my, my philosophy, I suppose, is a very simple one, uh, and it's one that I know so many people um, adhere to, is that try and uh, do to others as they would do to you. So always uh, try to have respect and love. Well, look, assuming the chest infection doesn't get any worse, what are you up to this weekend? Um, this weekend, well, I'm on the radio tomorrow, uh, right. 6 till 9. Um, today I've got a day with the family, which is great. And looking out the window, it's uh, cold and wet, so they won't want to leave the house. What part of London are you in, Alan? I live in uh, Barnes, which is uh, oh, just, Barnes, just yeah. on the Thames. Yes. Um, but there's a big old match on this afternoon, you see, Henry. It's uh, Wales versus Italy in the rugby. It and then uh, tomorrow it's my beloved Arsenal taking on uh, Birmingham. So it's a big sporting weekend as well. You've gone down with a great thud of popularity here in my studio because one of my colleagues here is a demented Arsenal fan so hey. you have a friend for life and well, it's a pleasure to talk to you again and you. my best wishes to you and yours and thanks very much indeed for joining us there. it's a pleasure, good to talk to you Harry and you, God bless, that's uh, Ali Jones he's written a foreword to the book What Do You Believe? It's a Doring Kindersley uh, publication, it'll cost you ten ninety nine.